Wouldn't it be cool if GarageBand allowed you to sample or import any sound and use it as a keyboard right here in GarageBand? Well, it does, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Now there's a heap to cover here about the sampler, so there are timestamps in the description below. And while you're down there, you can check out other videos to help you create in GarageBand. To add the sampler, we go to the keyboard instrument and tap on sampler. To play the sampler, simply tap on the keys. To change and then import a different sample, we simply tap here where it says bark and hit the import button. From here, we can select either Apple Loops or our own files. Let's start with Apple Loops. To import an Apple Loop, hit the import button, make sure you're in Apple Loops, and then you can actually filter down. I'm gonna to filter to the transitions sound pack. Preview a sound by tapping the preview button. And import a sound by tapping on the import button. And now this sample becomes our sampler sound. To import your own sounds, once again, tap, tap on import, and this time go to files. Now, if they're already in your transfer file, you can tap here or browse your files app, go to where your files are located and tap them to import. I'm gonna bring in this loop, so I'm gonna tap on the import button. And now when I hit a key, it's playing that sample. If your sample is too long, you can actually edit the start and the end point by dragging these two handles. And for more fine control, if you tap and hold, it will zoom in and you can move it to the exact location. To loop a sample, hit the loop button, and then when we hold down, we get a loop. To reverse a sample, hit the reverse button, and now, you can get some pretty funky sounds. To get more control over your fade in and fade out, tap on the details button and now we can actually move these handles to fade out the sample or even fade it in, adding a little bit of slower release such as this. If you find your sample is not in the right key for your song, you can even adjust the tuning. Your course tune will be in semitones, so we can tune up or tune down. And if you find the pitch is slightly off, you can use the fine tune to just tune it by a couple of cents. But for the most part, if you just press on detect pitch, it will actually detect the pitch of your sample and set things accordingly. If you've made changes but want to revert them, all you need to do is hit on the revert button. To use this sample in other projects, we need to save it to our library by tapping, tapping on save to library, giving it a name here, number three, and then hitting enter. And you'll see here that now this is available down in our library so we can use this within any other project here in GarageBand. To record your own sample to use with a sampler, first check your input by tapping on the input jack here and make sure if you're using an audio interface, you have the right channel selected or the iPad's internal microphone. If you want to hear it as you record, tap the monitor button, check, and to record your sample, simply hit record. Bop. And then stop. And we can now play with my custom sample. To record with our sampled instrument, just hit record. There you have it, the very cool sampler here in GarageBand iOS. If you'd like to learn more about creating, recording, and releasing in GarageBand, check out the other videos in the description, and I'll see you next time.